Guys, welcome back to the Mary Boozers RC channel. Today we have our FMS Avanti down here on the table and we have our 5280 afterburner kit that we're gonna be installing in it. The kit comes with the afterburner itself, the controller unit, a Y harness, and a zip tie. And today we're gonna to be showing you how to put this in. So without further ado, let's get this flipped over. Let's get our fan assembly open and show you what's going on. All right, so you're gonna need your two millimeter Allen key if you're doing the same airplane as we are uh, and get our fan cover off. That's the first step. <laughs> we have a very talkative young boy in here tonight. This reveals our fan <laughs> unit ourselves. We've got two screws to get the fan loose. So let's go on and pull the fan out. We have the uh, airplane in our favorite stand right now. These are our Ernst manufacturing stand. It does make your life much easier doing something like this. I can't see what I'm doing. There it is. I'm trying to unscrew this over the air flight right now, guys. So you can see what I'm doing, but I can't see what I'm doing. Yeah. Hey, Laurie. Gosh, you're supposed to be helping me, not hindering me. Hitting the thing. Here we go, guys. Now we can lift our fan unit up and out and just kind of set it off to the side right now. Let me get everything prepared that we're going to put onto the fan now, and I'll show you how this works. All right, guys, so the next step in your process is you're gonna be needing to get this wire that's attached to the afterburner unit itself from the rear section of your airplane to the front. The way I do it is you can see my little rod right here attached to it. See that silver rod? I've gone on ahead and sneaked this all the way up to the front. I didn't want y'all to have to sit here and watch me do it but it's literally just a long metal rod, like a coat hanger, or uh, these rods actually came with some of my other airplanes with a loop on one end. And what I did is took and snuck that under the ESC and up to the front where I can find it. And now I'm gonna slowly pull this and work my way up. I don't wanna yank the end off. I wanna be gentle with it. And you can see as I start to pull it, it goes up in there. It's gonna slide under the ESC now. And I'm gonna make sure that I get everything under there, just like that, and now slowly pull it all the way to the front of the airplane. Just like that. Now, just to show you, Lori, if you can reset the camera real quick, we're gonna zoom out so I can show you all what's going on. All right, as you can see, now I have my afterburner wire up here in the front. Like I said, I took this metal rod right here, just so y'all can see it. I call it, it's a come get them, whatever you want to call it wire. Uh, but I sniped that from the back to the front and was able to pull that wire through now. You can see my afterburners hanging out here with the fan. Let's flip it back over and let's get this afterburner attached to the fan. All right guys, next step is to get our afterburner attached to our airplane. I'm gonna take some foam tack, your choice of foam safe CA or glue of whatever type. I like this stuff. I can kind of globulate it in there. Like so. We're gonna take our fan unit and there's a hole right here. We're gonna put that where our wires go in there and we're gonna slide that on. That is as simple as that is. Now, get it nice and goopy. We're gonna take and Lori's gonna hold that for me because she's really a nice wife and she loves me. <laughs> and it'll be a lot easier without having to do this one-handed. And I'm gonna put this zip tie around it. In this little hole. There's a little hole that the zip tie actually sets in. And then you can pull it nice and tight. Feel nice and tight, Lori? Oh yeah, nice and tight. Now, it's not going to be so tight that it can't come off ever, but that's what the glue is going to be for. Cut that off. As you can see, guys, I've got my afterburner in there. Now, we're going to take it and push it in, and we're going to push all the wires down in the little hole where they go. 
And we're gonna put that back in there, make sure our afterburner's still straight. All our wires are not pinched. I'm looking in from the back of the airplane right now and just making sure our wires aren't pinched and they're not. And now it's time to screw our fan back in. So just like it came out, the two black screws, grab the right screwdriver. Put the fan top on, or whatever you want to call this, access panel. All right, and now we need to go up to the front end and we're gonna set that up. All right, so we've got it installed, guys. We're gonna get the afterburner controller plugged in now. So if you pull up your controller unit, there's gonna be a wire coming out with a white lead and then there's a wire coming out with just a red and a black. The red and the black is gonna to go to your actual afterburner unit. Just make sure when you plug it in, it's black to black, red to red, duh. Like so. Then it also comes with a Y harness. We're gonna take one lead of your Y harness and we're gonna put it into one unit. And then I'm gonna take my throttle channel from my receiver and plug it into the other Y like so. And then take all of it and plug it back into the receiver right here. If I had an open channel, I could split them. Now I just need to take all of my controller and everything and shove it up in here out of the way to where all I have left sticking out is this one lead here, the balance lead that's gonna plug to the battery. So you can cut that off. We'll see you back in a second. All right guys, so that completes our installation. Now let's get ready to turn the airplane on. Let's show you what it actually looks like. So I'm gonna turn my radio on there's no added mixing to this. You just Y harness it into your throttle channel. I'm gonna take and I'm gonna plug in my flight pack. Then I'm gonna grab my lead that comes off of the uh, afterburner and plug it in like so. Stick it down in there, put our canopy on. Now I'm gonna turn it and we're gonna kill the lights for you real quick. Let's see what this looks like. So it comes on in flickers. It's got all the airplanes in the whole room moving. <laughs> but there it is. <laughs> Very cool guys, so uh, let's see. <laughs> there it is, nice and easy, easy assembly, nice little add-on to your jet guys to make it a little bit cooler. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the description of the video to find the afterburner links uh, and enjoy it guys. I hope y'all liked this video. We'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks for stopping by.